What's up, Simonics? Welcome to a new vlog episode. I'm currently reading a new book called The One Thing, and it's actually a great book. I'm like 50% through, and today I want to tell you a bit more about focusing on one thing, um, how you can do it, what you can learn from the book, and as well um, how this book changed my mind about what I do on here. So the vlog format you currently see will change a bit. I will explain in this episode why and what will change and I will also tell you how you can find your one thing so you can become more productive and actually achieve better results. If you haven't read the book, I highly recommend you check it out. I don't have any affiliate link, I don't do those things, but you should definitely read it. It's about focusing on less so you can achieve more. Um, there are a lot of practical examples on uh, how you can actually get better results by focusing on less. And this isn't only about work or a specific area of your life. There's actually always like a, a one thing in each area of your life that you can do that will give you um, the bigger results. It's like the Pareto, I think that's called it, uh, principle with the 80-20 rule. Uh, you should heard of that uh, before. Like, you can get 80% of the results with 20% of the work. That is actually true in a lot of areas of our life. And if you think about your own project, perhaps you're also spreading yourself thin across different projects. Uh, you try to make work, uh, family life, health, uh, eating uh, and leisure time work. Somehow you try to balance it and the author actually describes how there's not really a balance possible. It's always like playing uh, to the extremes of each side and then finding your stability in between. Really a great book. This got me thinking about what I did in the past. Um, if you follow this channel, you know that I'm bringing out two videos per week. I created the kickoff tool this year. I released a book just recently. While all of these things were great, I really felt like I'm kind of missing the focus on something. And also at the same time, although I had like a huge quantity of content, I sometimes miss the quality. In some of the vlog videos, I really didn't feel super confident about the topic and I want to change this. For example, um, the kickoff Ionic launch for the tool was really great. I got a lot of paid signups. Um, I also brought out a little update uh, soon after, but then I kind of abandoned it for now um, because I had to work on my book project because I wanted to bring it out as well. And if I had spent more time at that point already, uh, the project might have already grown a lot more. Um, and I want to refocus on this, of course, now in the future again, because when I thought about my one thing, um, so what's really most important for me, it's actually right now helping Ionic developers build great Ionic applications. It's kind of simple. But the problem is like half of my week is already spent with uh, some content pr uh, production for the tutorials, for the vlogs, then I got the academy courses, then at some point I work on other side projects, marketing, stuff like this. And on top of this, simply at the current COVID crisis, um, taking care of your child at home, having someone sick at home or just being sick or summertime, vacation, anything, and you're left with really not a lot of time. And this means you can't really produce great results in a specific field if you spread yourself thin across all these different things. To achieve all of this, I already ditched like my whole consulting part earlier this year because I knew I wanted to focus on my projects and I wanted to bring out the book. And I think that decision was actually the first right decision. And I already felt before that I need to focus on like less <laughs> instead of more. But it's actually easier to say this because when you get a lot of things going on and you want to experiment, you want to try out this and you want to try out that, you kind of lose focus on what's really important. I didn't really follow up with a lot of support emails. It took me a lot of time. and I neglected other areas of my life, um, which at some point will definitely come back at me. Therefore, this vlog format will change a bit. That is my decision for now, because it's just too much uh, spending two, time, uh, two days per week creating only these content uh, things. And also the initial plan of the vlog was to have like well, a Casey Neistat vlog style, um, well, that really didn't work out, but a developer-focused vlog to grow this YouTube channel to 100k, because that was my goal. But 
Uh, looking at the numbers, the vlog videos, so posting twice a week didn't really um, make that growth possible. Right now with the new signups, it's like it will take four or five years. I don't know if YouTube will even give out awards at that time anymore. This whole approach of focusing all developers with more general vlog-like uh, topics isn't really working out for me. And therefore, because my focus is to help Ionic developers build great applications, I want to do more in that direction. So I might do this vlog uh, every two weeks now, um, just to save uh, at least a bit of time. And also, I want to try to focus on the things that you really enjoy around Ionic, which are, I think, the app review, uh, you really like the monthly Ionic news flash with all the updates, and in general, if there's anything new around Ionic or Angular or building mobile application. That means I have a very clear focus for this vlog. Um, you know what you can expect. It will be different from the Tuesday tutorial, which will stay like it is. I also thought about uh, changing that schedule, but I feel like I want to deliver one Ionic tutorial every Every week to you it will be still hard but I think that's just what I want to do so that means I don't have to come up with like a random topic out of thin air if I don't have any ideas perhaps it might happen that there are like no vlogs for two or three weeks if I don't have a topic but usually at least Ionic newsflash every month is possible because there's so much going on around Ionic every month. So with that focus on less and providing better quality Ionic videos for you I also will want to focus on the other things I got already going on, which are the Ionic Academy, support for the members, uh, establishing uh, like a career path in the Ionic Academy, and working on the kickoff Ionic tools. Right now, I really am um, using Ionic for everything. In the past, I kind of feared this, but after a little conversation I had with Josh Moroni, um, I'm pretty sure you know him, um, maybe we should even bring him on the vlog. What do you think about this? Wouldn't this be a great episode, Josh and me in one video? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. After a conversation, I really thought about what he said, because if Ionic at any point in the future would disappear, which I currently can't foresee and don't really know why it should happen, then all of you would have like a little tiny problem with all of your applications <laughs> and I would still be here having the same problem so I could actually help you out in that case as well and somehow find a solution how we can transition to anything new that's available at that time. And therefore, from now on, my one thing, focus Ionic, helping you learn Ionic, build great Ionic apps with tutorials, videos, support, answering your comments and building tools and products around Ionic. So I really hope you understand this adjustment and I would actually recommend that you also take a few minutes of your time to think about your one thing. You can get the book if you want to. It's really a great read with a lot of quotes, stories and practical examples and think about what you want to focus on or what's the one thing that's really important for you and that will give you uh, like the most or the biggest results. That makes it kind of easy when you want to work on something, you want to work on a side project or uh, anything else to really focus on one task at a time. You can really break it down, break down your bigger goal, your one thing into smaller tasks and it becomes a lot easier because you always know you're working in the right direction, you're making progress. So if you feel like you're also spreading yourself thin across too many projects or not only project but areas of your life, work, family, I mentioned it before, take a minute to think about what's really your one thing in each of those areas that you want to focus on because focusing on less will give you bigger results in the end and therefore I hope in the future we can focus even more on Ionic in this channel. I have a lot of ideas about this. If you also have something that you would see or would you uh, blah blah blah. If there's also something that you would like to see on Ionic that we haven't done before, I know this will give me like 100 comments about doing capacitor login with Google, but I really mean if there's anything around Ionic that you would like to see more regularly, um, different content, just let me know in the comments. I really want to provide you with the information to build awesome apps with Ionic. I really got a comment about two weeks ago about someone 
who learned from my tutorials and now builds application that will be shipped to Mercury with a rocket. Um, I'm really so happy about this, super excited, and I want to see more examples like this if you're using any of my material for things that make this world a better place, because then I feel I'm a little bit involved in that as well, and my goal to help you build Ionic apps and ship great apps is fulfilled. So this week, go out, find your one thing, really take like five minutes in the sun if it's summer for you or if you are anywhere else then light a fire or something and think about how you can make more progress by focusing on less which will actually put less stress on you because you have a clear path vision and focus on the one thing thanks for listening i will catch you inside the next video with definitely somehow a relation to ionic and i hope you will have a great week so happy coding simon